are these children's parents? Many of them have no parents here. They have been collected to withdraw them from uh, what we call here uh, children trafficking. Um, children trafficking? Yeah. There's still slavery and trafficking going on right here now. Yeah. Yeah. Emmett Smith has been on an incredible journey into his family history. It's taken him back 200 years and back to the motherland of Africa. The results of his DNA are in and indicate that he's 81% African from the region of Benin. This area of Benin is called a slave coast, which was the second biggest exporter of slaves during the slave trading period. It's kind of like being in the United States when you think about the things that happened over there and trafficking of slaves from Virginia down to Alabama. It's kind of the same thing, it's just here in Africa. I know now that some of my ancestors came from this coastline and it's a beautiful place, but yet a lot of cruelty happened here. I've come to the Weta Museum of History, which is a converted slave fort to find out more about my African heritage. How you doing? You're welcome. Hey, Miss Smith. I'm Falola. Falola, I'm trying to find some information about the African slave trading that was going on right here in Weta. He demanded quelle est cette place. Les esclaves restaient sur cette cour. Alors la seule là qui mourait encore sur la route, on le jetait dans cette fosse. The slaves, they reside here just to check if they are resistant. Then they are brought to the ship for the unknown, for the voyage. For the voyage. So what you're telling me is this courtyard right here served as a mechanism for the slaves to be weeded out from the strong and the weak. And the strong were the ones who were taken to the, to the ships for the voyage to America or wherever else they needed to go. Yeah. Obviously, without them surviving, I wouldn't be here today. We can't say for sure, but we may have come back to the origin of where Mariah's parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents could have been from. And it is painful to be right here and to stand to know what transpired from this spot. OK, Mede, a lot of kids around. Give me the story of this school. The children here have been collected from everywhere in the country to be educated here. Where are these children's parents? Many of them have no parents here. They have been collected to withdraw them from uh, what we call here uh, children trafficking. Um, children trafficking? Yeah. There's still slavery and trafficking going on right here in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're trafficking young children, boys and girls of yes. all ages. Yeah, that's it. When the traffickers come in the village, the poor people sell their children. Mm. That's unfortunate. When these kids are sold off mm. from their parents mm. into slavery, what type of jobs do these young people do? The boys uh, mostly work uh, on uh, the granite mines. Granite uh, mines? Yeah. And the girls mostly work in the market to sell things for the traffickers. Wow. Mm. I understand it. I feel it. My ancestors were trafficked into slavery in the United States a long time ago, over 200 years ago. But to know that it's still happening in modern time is tragic. Any one of these kids could be Mariah or the next Mariah. <laughs> 